Hey guys, how's it going? Superfly Kev here, and welcome back to Mafia Definitive Edition. Um, now, last time um, we probably had like the worst section of this game because that race was absolutely dreadful. It took me almost an hour to basically attempt to beat. Well, I don't know what I did to be your hero, but uh, let's talk to this guy. You're a natural wheel, man, Tom. You seen Polly anywhere, Vin? He said he was gonna go eat to soak up the boots, but I never seen cannolis come that big. <laughs> Okay. For another year, folks. Track will be open until six. Please leave when requested. And uh we noticed that uh the Tommy has a uh, eye for Sarah over here. Holly and the rest of your pals have drunk through half my bar already. You found him yet? No. Not yet. I literally just started the episode, so you're gonna have to give me a little bit. Yo mama made that well easy to Tommy. When they starts to started racing here 20 years ago, most guys did it didn't even make the finish. Ah, magic's in the motor, Ralph. I just showed it where to go. Hey, you seen Polly? No, no. He said he was uh, hungry or something. Okay. You enjoy yourself. She should show sure will, Tom. Thanks. No problem, Ralph. I'm glad you thought that I made that look is easy because. Congratulations. Well, gracias. That win just put my daughter through another year at school, Tom. Hey, anything for the Coletis. Well, enjoy the moment. But the deal with Polly before he embarrasses himself and the family. I will not let the boss's day end this summerly. You don't have to worry, Great Frank. Race, I'll find him. All right, we still got to look for Polly. Apparently, he's drunk and he's eating food to soak up the alcohol to try to sober up. I'm glad my boy's having a good time. Alright, that's Sam right there. Alright, let's talk to Sam first. Great race, champ. Hey, last time I saw you drive like that, Tom, I had a gun to your head. You saying there wasn't one today? <laughs> <laughs> when our side of town is drowning in dough, that means you're safe. Hey, you seen Polly? Guy's soused. Came through walking sideways. Yeah, I heard. All right. So not even Sam knows where Polly is. is. This your first time at the track? Last year I heard the motors from my apartment, but that's as close as I've gotten before. They'll start to try to clear us out before dark, but ignore them. The party won't stop. Ooh. A collectible. More Dime Detective magazine. How'd you drive after the tuna? Tried to go sideline at a five brick walls, but we made it. You seen Polly any place? Came okay, by five minutes ago, maybe. Looked like it had a smell from the barrel. Sounds about right. Thanks, Lucas. Yep. Everybody's giving me the same information. Polly, I saw Polly. He was drunk, and that's pretty much all I've been getting. Great run, Tommy. Thank you. Ooh. Some donuts and cake. Nice, we got a nice little band right here. Yeah, the guys are not supposed to be drinking alcohol. It is illegal at this time period. I just had to remind myself that that was a thing. There he is. Damn, Brood. You're such a mess, man. Cow says moo and the chicken says quack. What does the bird say? I don't know, but the security guy back there says you gotta go home. That's an asshole. You should show some respect. Well, that's true, but I'm saying you gotta go home too before you resurface the pit lane. Hmm. Well, okay then. I guess. Let's go, Jim. Man, he's plastered. I've been like that before. It's both wonderful and terrible at the same time. It's wonderful in the moment, but it's terrible in the aftermath. Because, you know, hangovers, you get sick when you're sobering up. 
Alcohol is literally poison. You're literally poisoning your body just so you can feel great for a little bit. But that's okay. Something's got to kill you, right? Real good today, Tommy. With the, the driving. I was right. I was right when I found you. You know what I said? What did you say, Polly? I said this guy can drive, Don Salieri. This is a guy who can drive. And here we are. Here we are. Right here. That's where we are. Yep. In this car. Shame, Tom. Look at you. Now you're even a some kind of race car driver. We all got our you're doing real good since you joined the family, but you know you got it easy, right? <laughs> Me and Sam, we keep the real stuff from you. That right, huh? You don't know what it's like. You get the call to see the Don and your minds race. You've done some bad shit, Tom. We're all in this together. I do what the Don asks when he asks it. Just like you. You're like me, you can't just shut it down. Blank it out like Sam does. Go home to... <laughs> wherever the hell he goes home to. Polly, you're drunk. You're gonna have to clam up for your own sakes. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Gotcha. All right, a little bonding moment between these two or just a cop ahead. I wanna go with the lady. Uh, I'm not helping you with that today. Take me to the ladies! Take me to the blue tropics. I mean, what I'm doing is already illegal. No, I ought to take you home. The bridge. Take the bridge over to the island. Take me to the ladies. Take me to those sweet patooties. <laughs> sweet patooties. Know. Taking you home seems that more classic. Right, now we're talking. Oh, boy. You should see these dames, Tom. <laughs> I'll leave it to you to swim with the Barracudas, Polly. You're gonna have to tell me where the hell I'm driving. You don't know? I don't know. I know, it's right there. There's a blue sign. You don't need more than that. There's a blue sign and it says Blue Tropics and it's right near the docks. <sighs> Figures. Check a map or something. I already found it. Thanks for the uh the advice, Polly. To check the map. Maybe, maybe that. Yeah, a good idea. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna. Sweet dreams, tough guy. I'm gonna. Don't puke in the car. I don't feel so good. Yeah, like I said, alcohol is poison. I mean, I do indulge every now and then, but not as much as I used to because I was uh was quite the wild card in my twenties. Not an alcoholic or anything. I just when the uh, when the party got going, it got going. That's the cold Tom. You want anything else? Nah, I'm heading home. Hey Tom. Uh... Before you go, I ask maybe a small favor. Huh? Sure, Luigi, what do you need? Walk my daughter home. Sarah, the way I hear it, she doesn't need any kind of escort. <laughs> she's, uh, she's a tough. There's this uh, pack of boys near her place. Uh, the punks, you know, cattivi ragazzi. They talk blue, make advances. Sarah, she's gonna speak at the mind. But maybe she says something they don't like. Things get ugly. But if you work in at home, this is reminded his punk she's the dawn's a goddaughter. No problem, Luigi. I'd be honest. <laughs> Benny. Sarah, the time is to close. What's this then? Uh, Tom is. Uh, Tom's gonna take you. That right. Hey, I just work here. Make sure nobody bother you. Fine. If it'll make you feel better, Pop. Hey. 
I'll see you tomorrow. Let me get my coat. I'll wait for you outside. She's a pretty lady. Alrighty. I don't need anyone walking me home. Hey, we were talking about meeting up tonight anyway. I guess. And you can quit worrying about what he's gonna think. Not the point, Tom. How you doing? He treats me like a kid sometimes. Hey, I get it. He's protective. He's seen things. We've all seen things. You know, we gotta talk about you stealing food. Hey, I cook it, so I get to say where it goes. Molly won't thank you. Well, maybe tomorrow's finally gonna be the day he fixes his own breakfast. Hmm. I just noticed I have her coat in my hand. Could you knock on the door? Sure. Oh, so many hands here. You can use your legs. How do I how does one knock on door? Okay. Press X to knock. Are those the punks that they were talking about? Sarah. That for me? Yeah, though it's not as much as last time. It's enough. Nona thinks you're an angel. The Dawn hates seeing food go to waste. And this? This has got to be Tammy. Sarah told us all about you. Has she now? You're a famous race driver, Tom. Everyone talks about you. Yeah, she's right. They do. Well, anyways. Don't yeah, that was pretty awkward. Yet. I'll see you at church. All right. Have a great evening. Night. Buena noche, Tommy. Hey, mama. Your that means good night. I know that much in Italian. Buena noche. It's almost like saying buenas noches in in uh in Spanish, which means the same thing. It's nice you do that. That? Well, a lot of hungry people on this block. Yeah. And just like he said, Bene. Well, Luigi said Bene, and that means good. It's a good night for a walk, anyway. I know some Italian, but it's not my native language. Oops. That's all you got. You spend all this time with a lady killer like Sam Trapani, and the best line you got is "Good night for a walk, anyways." <laughs> well, it is, ain't it? Yeah, I guess so. I should be paying attention. I almost got hit by a car. I look like a doofus right in front of this lady. Uh oh. Flowers for the lady, Signora. Nah, we're good. Now I don't get flowers. When you let me take you on a real date and not some walk home for Luigi. Then you get the flowers. Huh. That could happen. If Pop's not gonna stop me seeing one of you. I think he knows anyway. Luigi? Nah. These guys have been creeps to me for weeks. But I didn't tell you as I know what you like. I mentioned it to Dad this one time and all of a sudden he gets you to be my knight in shining armor. So yeah, he knows. Huh. Well, like I say, means there's no problem with me. He said you wouldn't last long. I know what happened to all the other guys I dated. I helped hide the bodies. Oh. Yeah. So now we are. I've been trying to keep you safe, Tommy Angelo. All this time. Well, let's go someplace. Tomorrow night, maybe. The pictures, maybe. You can get your flowers. That'd be good. I said oh earlier. Because I saw red things on the map. <laughs> Don't cast the kitten doll face. We'll let your boyfriend watch. What do you say? We going to have trouble here. Trouble started back when you tried to steal our girl, Chief. You your girl. Be careful. You'll end up in wooden overcoats. <laughs> Last chance to walk away. We ain't frails. We know who you work for. Salieri might have been the big six when he was younger. But he's all washed up now. Mm -hmm. It's only a matter of time before Morello punches his ticket. I don't need Salieri. Or anyone else. Not for this. <laughs> well. <laughs> then let's see what you got, Cake Eater. Mm. Where you going there, sweet cheeks? Ooh, I'm already doing bad. Billy Trey. 
You know, I forgot how to punch. There we go. Nice, okay. Nice. You should be keeping your eye on me, dumbass. Ouch. Damn. His ear is definitely gonna hurt. Alright, give me one second. Alrighty. Oh. You get one. That's all you get. You just get one punch in. Tommy! Oh, man. Mini boss. Baseball Batman. My turn now. All right. Come on. You're better than your friends. Ouch. There, you get one. Everybody gets one. Okay, maybe he gets two. But he ain't getting three. That's what I got, you son of a bitch. Kill him. Okay. We didn't kill him per se, but he's definitely gonna hurt when he wakes up. Nice. Kick to the nuts. You got a good right hook, I'll give you that. Yeah, he definitely does. You're bleeding. Come up to my place. I'll take a look. Alright, hopefully they don't bother you anymore. Well, you gonna come in and take a load off or what? I'm wondering when you'd invite me up. The bank's closed, slugger. I'm just gonna patch you up is all. Now go sit down on the couch, roll up your sleeve. I'm getting my sewing kit. Nice. It's good wife material already. Doesn't look too bad. <sighs> You need something for the pain? No, I'm fine. You don't have to do that. What? I can see it fucking hurts, Tom. You want to pretend it don't go ask Polly to staple you up. What do you get? Compliments of the Dan. That will ease the pain. Take another. I guess it's really gonna hurt. All right. You're gonna grin and bear this? Yeah, I'll be okay. Good. Because I don't need the little old lady next door complaining at the super about all the racket. Just be quick about it, will ya? Oh, it's gonna take as long as it takes. The sloppier the stitch, the uglier the scar. That's yeah, true. Right. You stitched up a lot of fellas. Just my father. Ma would really go after Luigi sometimes. He got pretty good at ducking dinner plates. So one day she stabbed him with her knitting needle. Ouch. Right through the hand. What for? Because she was an ugly, jealous drunk. There. Not my best work, but it'll hold. The scar would be something to remember you by, if nothing else. <laughs> You're staying over. Can't have you stumbling through the neighborhood pie-eyed. Not when them hoods are out looking for you anyways. Yeah, okay. You got an extra blanket or something? No. And the heat's out. Oh. How convenient. A 
ですよと。All right. Completed Sarah. Better get used to it. We're still in 1932. I wonder when the time is going to move forward. This can't stand. Sarah's okay, boss. I took care of it. She started working here before she could see over the bar. I don't have a daughter of my own, Tom. I'd do anything for Luigi's little girl. So would I. We all would. That's right, boss. Anything for Luigi and Sarah. Do those bastards think this is fucking Luna Park or something? I'll rip them apart with my own hands. Our business is protection. But who's gonna pay up when they learn we can't even protect one of our own as she walks home from work? So, what do you want us to do? Teach these boys a lesson. Break every bone in their bodies, put them in wheelchairs, bust their faces up so bad, even their mothers can't look at them without screaming. Damn. We know where they're holed up. My friend on the force says we should start looking in the Chinatown. Then Big Biff will know something. Tommy, go to Vinny, get us some gear. Meet me at Biff's place. Yeah, okay. Leave these punks laying in the street. I want everyone to know. We do not allow mad dogs to run wild in our neighborhood. You got it, boss. Don't worry. The only bed they're sleeping tonight is the hospital bed. I'll check the neighborhood. Make sure they're gone while you see Biff. Good hunting. Yeah, same. Okay, so when you're done with Vinny, come find me in Chinatown. Sure. Let's go bust some heads. Alright. Let's go talk to Vinny, the gun guy. All right, so yeah, we're planning to basically beat some people up, man. It's gonna get bloody. Hey, hey. here for some heaters, Tom. Nah, I'm already going and healed. Paulie and me, we gotta give a beating to some punks who've been on our turf. I don't want to pull this. And piss in our own street There's something the bus sets that's all we need Sam turned over some guy's warehouse and uh grab by Babe Ruth himself the guy said I mean it's horse shit but they bust heads your punks won't have time for questions no they won't thanks Vinny gotcha we're playing ball we left a bat behind though All right. Last time I tried to use a baseball bat, it was um, I, the results weren't uh, satisfactory. All right. Um, I guess I get in this car. Got to turn off the radio. Okay. Whoa. Okay. The radio's turned off. You know, for this game being an open world game, I noticed that it's pretty linear. They, the game hasn't given me a chance to do any side activities. It's just been basically just go, go, go. Uh oh, okay, I got the police on me. Because I was going a little bit too fast. No. I'm running. How do you guys know? I'm gonna say, how do they know? It's not like uh, it's not like people have cell phones to re you know to be say that it was a crazy maniac driving or a helicopter. Oh, and by the way, speaking of which, I was told that those cars that I had in my garage, the white one, I think, belongs to Lincoln, or whatever his name is, the guy from uh, Mafia 3, and then the second one is Vito's. Oh, give me one second. If moved into this dump, I'll never know. Give him a break. He's in love. Uh, he got yellow fever the time we boosted the Shanghai skin flicks. That's not nice. Problem with you, Tom, you always 
I mean, the dames haven't given me a reason not to get soft. They're always giving me a reason to be hard. Boodoom. Sorry. Sorry for that insensitive joke. I have to lighten up the mood. Starfish, great to see you. Call her off, Biff. We got business. Upstairs, please. So, what's the beef? Need some information. Got some jokers causing trouble. They mess with Luigi's daughter. Plenty of hoods around. You got any more? One of them's a weasel named Billy. Pals with a prissy chump and a bruiser with a bald head. Right, right. I know him. They're set up in the old service station a block over. They hock some gear every now and then, in small time. <laughs> That's why I need to come to you, Biff. You're good with small time. Out the back, cross the street. You'll find them there. Thanks. See you around. Hey, Paulie. Uh, about that dough? Relax. Just waiting for my guy to come through. It'll be next week. Just sit tight. I, I couldn't move before. I literally was trying. But they had me in place. What oh. was that back there? You and Biff got something going on. Guy I know is bringing in a shipment of suits. Classy ones, Mexican. You getting suits from Mexico? No, idiot. The suits are boosted from a lockup downtown. The tailor is from Mexico. Originally, anyways, he lives in Holbrook. The Don know about this? Yeah, yeah. I'll get his cut. You just keep this under your hat. I guess I heard nothing. You gonna know these punks when you see them? Yeah. Though, I guess if I don't, all we gotta do is find the other guys in Chinatown who look like we do. There it is. Alright, so this guy has a side hustle with suits. And I say, we don't know nothing. You guys never heard of anything. Walk in and start beating me. Do the same. No shooters. You take long thinking that one up. Nah, this plane gets used a lot. I think we gotta go in through the side. Gotcha. Alrighty, so I'm guessing it's the same guys we just got in a fight with that we're basically uh, having a fight. Alright, kick the door down. Only the nicest ass I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> yeah, it's the same guys. Billy, it's the guy from the other night. We gotta go. Yeah, get out of here. Come on. Smash his skull in. Oh, come on. Yeah, you're his twin brother, bro. It's very cute that you guys have the same outfits and uh and haircut. Uh, I saw that one. Sure. Come on, you get one. Okay, you get two. But that's it. That's all you're getting. Alrighty. Come on. No problem. Oh, wrong button. How do I jump up uh, gates again? Is it Y? I completely forgot. Think I need talent? I go north, you go south. I go up, you go through there. All right. There we go. I figured it out. Okay. I guess he's trying to break down the uh, heat. The door. Oh. It's not letting me kick the door down. What the hell, man? It's, I was tapping X. All right, we're back. I know they said no shooting, but they're shooting back. Oh, explosive barrels, huh? Oh, that guy's on fire. Well, oh, he turned himself off. Whoa, what the hell? Did he kill me or did this thing kill me?
All right. Okay, definitely was the guy who shot me that killed me. I have to hold X, not tap it. That's what happens when you play too many games at once. Super Saiyan stories, huh? Gotcha. Where is Polly? Wow. Is that Polly? That is Polly, okay. Oh, there's a dude. Oh crap, they're throwing fucking Molotovs at me? Okay, god damn it. Am I gonna fall over? Oh, I thought the death was gonna be a lot more dramatic. Ooh, I just saw a rifle down here. Okay. Oh, come on. Alright, I finally killed this Billy, dude. Alright, cool. Everybody's dead, finally. You're begging? Okay, never mind. He bled to death. I was about to shoot him in the face. Wait, did I not kill Billy? I was trying to ease his suffering. That's Billy. Come on. Dude, I know you're behind the wall. Oh, he's on the floor. Alright, got the shotgun. Let me heal myself, please. Yep, I sure did. Yep, that's true. You guys did start this. Nope. It's, who is it? That guy? Nice. Burn yourself. Oh, crap. I pressed the wrong fucking button. Man, the shooting is not easy, especially on hard. I got some Molotovs here. Let me do this again without killing myself. Oh, I overthrew the, the hell out of that. Come on, poke your head out. Stop blind firing. You're gonna make me do it, huh? Okay. Okay, cool. Another freaking uh collectible. It's a cigarette uh card. Yeah, back then cigarette boxes came with like collectible cards. They don't do that nowadays. They try to make cigarettes as not fun. I mean, they shouldn't be fun. Cigarettes literally kill you. I used to smoke cigarettes. Oh, crap. Oh, my God. I'm dying a lot in this part. Oh, I'm ready for your ass. There you go. Don't bring a knife to a gunfight. I mean, last time it was... Last time I ate my words with that one. Because a knife obviously won that battle. I panicked. I saw a dude running at me and I had no idea what to do. Swap knife? No, I think I the knife I have. Do I even have a knife? Oh no, I won the baseball bat. Do I? Actually, no. The knife seems a lot more menacing. Johnny, get down! Oh, come on! Get 
This is a nice car. I mean, they're all nice cars. Come on, we can't lose them. Oh, come on. All right, the driving's a lot easier when I'm not racing. When I'm just following some dudes, it's manageable. But when you're telling me I have to fucking race, Come on, come on, I say that and then I do this. Oh, come on. Come on, car. You ever see guys piss their pants this quick? If you look through the rain, you can see it dripping out the back of their car. I see. Come on. This car. It's like I can't go too fast because I got to slow the hell down before the freaking turn. Because these cars handling is not that great because that's exactly how they handled back in the uh, in the 30s. Get out of the way. Whoa, careful, guys. These All right. Are gonna regret they ever set eyes on Sarah, huh? Yeah. Definitely. Let me shoot myself. Reloading. All right, I can shoot him now. I don't have unlimited ammo, so it's not like last time. I guess last time they gave me limit unlimited ammo because I needed to shoot. I can have Polly shoot him. Come on, punks. Yep. Come on, they're definitely taking me on a wild goose here. Oh, did they just crash? Son of a bitch just wrecked himself. Well, they're not walking away from that. Nope. You guys are screwed. We're about to shoot you in the face. Don't hesitate to shoot him. No. No, no, wait. Please. Please, I don't want to fucking die, man. Christ, Tom. You can't feel sorry for these animals. A guy like this would plug you if you give him the chance. You gotta pull the trigger without thinking. Yes, I'm out. This one's finished, too. Hmm. <sighs> oh Christ, Tom. Snap out of it. You remember what those guys wanted to do to Sarah? Yeah. Just uh Hey. Let's get out of here before the bulls show up, huh? I said I popped so many dudes already and now he wants to have a conscience about it. Come on, man. You're a mafioso. Act like one. The saint in the center. Simple straight. You lose. I can't afford this life no more. Just getting lucky. <laughs> I'll give you a chance to win your money back. You want in, boss? We have business to discuss, Polly. We're in it now, boys. One of our associates at the coroner's office sent this over. Corpse's name is Giolotti. You recognize him? Sure. That's one of the punks we ran out of the neighborhood. Now he got the bullet in the back of his head? Yeah. We capped him. Well, the cops ought to thank us. We did him a favor. The guy was a rapist, boss. Yeah? Well, he was also a city councilor's son. You want to drive a politician into Morella's arms? There's no better way than killing off his family. Oh, Christ. That gets worse. You left another guy in the wreck? Yeah, but he was dead when we got there. You gonna tell me he was the president's nephew or something? Two in the head, Paulie. If you're gonna do a job, do it right. 
He made it? Yes. He spent the week in St. Mary's, but he pulled through. Jeez. Can he point a finger at either of you? I don't know. Maybe. Okay. Look. We're gonna kill two birds with one blast. Galati's funeral's today at St. Michael's. Sam, you're gonna attend. Sit in the back and try to spot the lucky bastard. How will I recognize him? He'll be the one who just crawled away from a car wreck. His arm is broken. Look for a sling. Sam's gonna need a little distraction if he's gonna clean up your mess. He's sending Tommy to dip his wick? Is it brothel? A gentleman's club, just down the street from St. Michael's. The Don has invested a lot of money in it over the years. So, me and Sam. Regardless, the owner has suddenly decided to do business with Morello instead of us. The bastard. You remind him of his obligations? Yes. Then blow the place up. Nice. What? Morello wants to take businesses away from us? He'll inherit craters. Look, Tom, we can send Paulie and Sam since all the ladies know them already. They never make it through the front door. But you can walk right in. Okay. What about the manager? Take care of him wherever you find him. If any of the horse see it, well, it'll be a warning. Once he's out of the way, head to his office on the top floor. Grab any documents and money you find there and place the explosives. Vincenzo will see that you have what you need. And you think the blast will be big enough to give me cover? Yeah, but be smart. Only take a shot if you know you won't get made. Tommy, one more thing. One of the girls is passing Morello information about our operations. Before you blow the place, you'll need to take care of her too. You want Tommy to kill a twist? Come on, Frank. It's just bad luck this falls to Tom. But we gotta protect the family. Her name is Michelle. She's usually working one of the upper rooms. Her photo is in the folder. You boys clear on everything? I am. Yeah. Tom. I got it, boss. Then get it done. I'm pretty sure uh, Sam Polly knows that woman. Ooh, another collectible? What's this? Oh. Newspaper, November 19th, 1932. Consular son is slain. William Billy Gatoli, son of Lost Heaven City Council President Roberto Gali uh, Gatilli, Gil uh, Gatoli, was found dead by firearm inflicted wounds this past Sunday. The body was discovered by police officers investigating reports of a wrecked vehicle. There is presently no suspect or even a clear motive for this senseless murder which bears all the hallmarks of a gangland execution. I'll meet you here. All right, we got to go see Vinny. He's got to give us a bomb. We haven't got all day. Yeah, don't worry. I keep trying to tap X. Heard you in the market for something that goes boom. Yep. I sure am. Dynamite, thank you. Give those girls a squeeze from Uncle Vin, huh? Not today, Vinny. No, they'll be getting more than a squeeze. Get in. Oh, come on, man. Don't tell me you want me to not kill the hooker. Don't go anyplace yet. You gotta hear me out on this. It's about okay. the girl. Michelle? Right. You don't have to rub her out. Just make her disappear. You know her? Yeah. I'd been with her a few times. She's a good egg, Tom. Just maybe not so bright. She doesn't deserve to get plugged just because she likes listening to me talk. You think she'll leave, Tom? When she understands what'll happen otherwise, yeah, she'll leave. Here's a hundred. Give it to her. And make sure she gets far away. Okay, sir. I'll see what I can do. That's all I'm asking. Let's go. All right. I hope she doesn't give me a reason to pop her, man. I'll do this for you, Sam, but I Michelle. hope this doesn't bite me back in the this ass. The one from the racetrack, right? 
Tom, that was the last time we're ever gonna talk about her. Ever. I told you what I had to ask, and you listened. Gotta leave it there. Okay. All right, I guess we can skip the drive. I don't think he's going to say anything else about it. Here's your stuff. Well, dude, we'll skip the drive every now and then. Your condolences. Good luck. You too. I won't do it all the time. I guess we can skip this one too. It, it makes it easier so like that I don't have to edit out long draw uh drawn out drive sequences. Especially if there's nothing going on. I'm here for the story among all things. And like I said earlier, it looks like there's no side objectives. Or anything. Alright. Give me the prompt, please. There we go. Hello. You behave yourself in here, okay? No problem. But let me ask you a question. Know where I can find the manager? I just watched the door, pal. Okay. Hey, handsome. Hello. You here for a girl, drinks, or a mix of the two? A girl. And I got some business with your manager, too. A girl? I can help you with. Come through. Find a girl you like, and you can both get better acquainted upstairs. There's no rush, so get a drink. Relax and enjoy yourself. Mm. Which one's Michelle? Uh, when you get a guy, not before. Fine. You know the rules, Dottie. Hello, sir. I can help you. I need to talk with the manager. You with our new associates? He's in the lounge. I threw the bar. Can't miss it. Okay. Cool. We know where the manager is at the very least. There is something back there. How do I get that? All right. I'm going to try to sneak in and grab whatever it is behind this dude. Okay. He's busy. What's this? An appointment book. So Michelle's going to be in room 3, I mean 208 all day. Okay. Downtown 1702. He don't care. He don't matter. You need to come in. Even with the lady next door, you need to. Who's these new guys getting the run of the best girl? And he says he wants you here to entertain the new guys. Okay. It don't matter how sick your kid is. You got to come in and work. That's what you do. Listen, you want to go back to the rest of the girls on the corner of Six and Maple? Then be my guest. You told me what it was like. Your fur coat and flashing the cars look when there's snow at your feet and you can't feel your legs for the wind and cold. I'm doing you a favor. Your kid will get better. But you're working on the street again, I'll see him worse. Leave him with your neighbor. Get here quick and pray to God he don't notice you late. I'll cover for you, but I can only do it for so long. I'll leave it to you. Bye. All right. I don't know what to do first. I guess we'll, uh, let's actually go talk to Michelle first. Room 208. All right, do I have to avoid dudes here? And be sneaky about this? Where's room 208? You know a girl named Michelle? Never heard of her. Girls are all downstairs. You're a liar. I don't appreciate you lying to my face, ma'am. 102. All right, so upstairs, upstairs. That's 203, 204. Well, it looks like, sounds like someone's having a wonderful time. Yeah, alrighty. Well, let's get away from that door. I don't want to listen in like a fucking creep. I worked in a hotel before and I heard a lot of that. I didn't mean to kick down the fucking door. You, Michelle? What's it to you? Fella named Sam is one of your regulars. 
Maybe there's a lot of guys named Sam. You know him. Works for Don Celieri. Maybe you got him talking about our business from time to time, and maybe Don Morello offered you some money to spill what you heard. No, Sam, trust me. I, I don't say nothing. He knows that. Well, the Don's losing a lot of money because someone <laughs> can't keep their mouth shut. I was just bumping guns with some of Morello's girls. I didn't mean nothing by it. Tell him I'm sorry. Tell him I won't never open my mouth again. I know. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. You're scared then. Good. Don't you ever forget how it feels to be this scared. To know you're just one twitch away from a hole in the ground. Because if you ever show your face in this town again, they're gonna find you with two in the head. Do you understand? Lucky for you, Sam's got a big heart. Get dressed and make tracks. This place is gonna blow soon. All right, so we took care of that. Thank you. Just don't come back and we're square. All righty, so we did that for Sam. All right. Michelle, you're in room 208 all day tomorrow with Morello's guys. I'll be downstairs in the lodge sending them up. They get what they want as much as they want. You complain, you lose your place. There's plenty of more there's plenty more girls like you. Come up to my office on the top floor in that gold Neglig G. I like so much. I don't know what that is. If you feel like changing my mind, this probably has to do with an article of clothing. Alright, so we took care of this. Now let's go talk to the uh let's go talk to the uh the, the manager. Is there a way to go downstairs here? What's this? Kick door. Alright, there's no reason for me to do that. I don't know why my mini map showed that. I guess they're done. It didn't last too long, which is pretty realistic. That small detail, I appreciate that. It was only like a five-minute session. Good on you, developers. All right, so it was telling me to go downstairs. I was just being stupid. Hey, good afternoon, sir. Where's the manager? A drink while you take in the sights. A drink while you take in the sights. Okay, that's all he's going to say. And the Morello family be long and fruitful. Right, do I just walk up to him? You must be the man. Don Celieri sends his regards. Ooh. Where's this guy going? Okay, I was wondering why people were freaking out. Now you're done. Okay. Get on the ground, god dang it. Alright, we're back. This guy has a shotgun. All right. Let me get his shotgun, please. Thank you. Is there a health kit? A first aid kit back here? Yes, there is. All right, cool. Now we got to reach the manager's office. So I guess that's in the top floor. There's a lot of angry dudes in here. I gotta pick up this ammo. Uh, actually, let me get the semi-automatic pistol. Yes. Where's everybody? Sam. Damn, that dude tanked a lot of shots. I don't have any grenades. Come on. Thank you. What a terrible place to hide, man. You left yourself exposed. All right. So it's probably all the way to the top. Come 
Oh, come on, dude. Just die. Oh, they're flanking me. They're trying to. Oh, God, I'm getting shot from behind. All right, they're downstairs. All right, let me switch over to my pistol. Did you guys run downstairs or are you guys upstairs? I think they're upstairs. Hello? God dang it. I didn't like that at all. All right, we're back. We're going to try to attempt this again. Yep. Just shot your face off with a shotgun. I got one too, you know. I'm just better at using mines. Terrible place for a hiding spot. Come on. Come on, dude. There you go. Moving to cover. All right, there's still people here. Come on. Nice. That why I don't understand why he was falling in slow motion. Damn, you just got killed in your undies, bro. That sucks. There we go. I don't know if I needed this, but I'd rather be at full health than no health. Alright, come on. Okay, cool. I'm gonna pull out my shotgun. Just in case someone is around the corner or something. Like this guy. Damn, I shot your kneecap. You shouldn't even be standing, dude. Oh god, they have machine guns now? All right, I'm gonna make a run for it. All right. Get a shot. Go. All right, blind firing is really not accurate, which makes sense. That's why they call it a blind fire? No, I didn't. You're still standing, you liar. I like how satisfying the headshots are in this game. Oh, there's a guy still there. Let me get back into cover. He's right behind the plant. Now you're done. Oh, and he has a shotgun. Oh, Shit. I can't really see him from here. All this dumbass foliage. I see him. He's right there in that corner. It's going to be hard to get. Oh, he's right there. Yeah, he keeps, whip he keeps swapping cover. Come on. I'm very low health. If he shoots me, I'll be dead. All right, thank God his head was in the way. Oh, I really want this Tommy gun. Oh, it doesn't have a lot of ammo, though. Uh, I should just... Oh, a double barrel shotgun. It's really quiet here. 
I guess there's no one left. All right, I'm in this guy's office. Ooh, get the stack of cash. Take the money and the documents. Dear Mr. Morello, the following patrons may be of interest. I have their details should you need them. Several city councillors and one congressman. Senior officials in the Federal Tax Office, Deputy Director of Pris of the Prison Service on Board of Appeals, uh, Prohibition Bureau uh, Chief uh, at the Lost Haven Police Department. In addition, a number of Sorelli Associates are sweet on our girls and fond of pillow talk. We will keep an ear out for your interest. Yours concordantly, Howard Davis, Manager of the Corleone Hotel. Alrighty, um, and then it's the last document over here. Letter to Frank. Dieter, uh, da, uh, uh, uh Dieter. <laughs> Dear Mr. Uh, Coletti, I must apologize for missing our regular appointment last week. I had urgent family matters to attend to at short notice. It is with some regret that I write to confirm the termination of our agreement. Mr. Sorelli has been a wonderful business partner over the years. I am most grateful for his support and your wise counsel. Please find with this missive return of Mr. Sorelli's investment along with a hundred with a hundred dollars as a gesture of goodwill. Our doors are always open. We remember our friends here at the Coleone. Yours cordially okay, Baba. Howard Davis. Alrighty. Now I put the bomb here. Oh shit, okay. Alright, Tommy, what do we do? Damn it. Damn. I mean, the building's gonna blow up, man. We gotta go. Oh my god. You can probably jump all the way to that rail. Yep. Oh, thankfully the blast gave us a little bit of a of a boost. Gunfire and an explosion reported in the Corleone Hotel. Okay, I'm getting shot at. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh crap. Okay, the ladder, the ladder. Alright, I think there's gonna be some guys inside this building. Right. Oh, there's a cop right there. Yep. As much as I like this weapon, I'm gonna get something that has actually has ammo. Oh shit. Nice. Oh, I'm reloading. Alrighty. Let me get this pistol, please. All right, there he is. I missed. I missed again. All right, I got ammo from the revolver he had. Um, okay, there's not a place to go. Nice. I'm here. He was looking the other direction. There's still a cop here, isn't there? There he is. 
God dang it. Come on. Can I shoot you? I can. Okay, how far do I have to go? Ooh, another collectible. All right, another dime detective. Well, good thing we made it in time. Okay, seems sounds like the cops. No contact with the fellas on the roof. Feels like we lost him. You have. I I think uh we are safe for now. We're heading into a church. I can hear the the hymns. Plus, it says escape to the church on the top left. All right, let's pick up this pace. No matter how far we've fallen, we can find redemption in death. Now, William, he was a sinner, yes, but he was also a loving son, a protective brother. And a loyal friend. And for those virtues, we pray that his soul will find salvation. And now I believe one of Billy's closest and dearest friends would like to say a few words. Thank you, Father. Oh, there he is. I, uh... I just wanted to pay my respects. Billy, I never said this, but... I consider you my brother. I can't even count all the times you saved my ass from a beating. So I don't know how I'm good. What are you doing? Wait, that's the guy. That's the guy who killed Billy. Alrighty, shit. I think that's uh that's Sam. Okay, I gotta go. There, take that. Is he still alive? Oh no, that that's not Sam. Let me let my health build up a bit. Get a shot. Go. I'm on him. Come on, I wish I had a grenade or something. You son of a bitch. There you go. I thought that was like a pickup. It was just a piece of bread. Alright, so I guess he went up here. Johnny? I'm gonna get the guy that's just standing there. No, never mind. He... He sat back down. Don't throw fire, please. Come on. I'm getting shot from across the fucking room. I'm gonna keep moving so I don't get burned. Oh. Come here, bastard. You should have just shot him in the face. It would have saved all that trouble. The 
This All right. is the way this city works. Let me get the freaking health. All right, I got guys upstairs. All right, how do I get back upstairs? Through here? I mean, because Johnny's right up there. Oh my god, I don't know how to get up there. I just gotta pop them, that's all I gotta do. Oh, over here, okay. God damn it. All right, got him. Burn him out. Fire going out. Thank God I got out of there in time. No more first aid. Damn it. All right. Right, come on nice shut up dude you think I'm enjoying this I am even though I've died a bunch of times I'm still having a good time please, please, this solves nothing. it solves a lot of things All right, Billy, you're the last one, and he's gonna kill me. Nice. That was some quick thinking. What have you done? Murder in the house of God. These men were criminals, Father. Thieves. Rapists. Killers. And God would have embraced them if they'd asked for forgiveness. Now, which one of these men might have sought redemption by working with the poor? Which one might have saved just one life? None of us, Father. Oh, come on, dude, really? You bastard. If you have any confessions to make, you better do it quick. No more bloodshed, please! I'm sorry, Father. <laughs> Consider this an act of divine retribution. Thanks, man. Finally, you're here. That make us even? Yes. Sure. For now. For your trouble, Father. I don't want your blood money. The church would, though. Took theirs. Not a lot of difference from where I'm standing. That should be enough dough to patch up the bullet holes and keep you quiet. <sighs> when the cops come, you tell them the gunman who did this had East Coast accents. Must have been from out of town, right? I won't lie. But I won't say anything at all. Good. Be a shame if we had to come back here. Yep. Where the hell were you? As soon as I walked into church, the crew recognized me. Followed me straight back out. Where are they now? The same place as all these guys. Come on. We gotta go. Yeah, we do. Man, it's gonna be a long video. Alright, another cigarette collectible box thing. Oh, thanks for letting me know, bro. Alright, come on, let's go. Come on. Sam, get in the car. Is he in the car? He is, okay. Alright, we gotta lose the police.
excuse me, officers. Well, today didn't turn out like I expected. Just drive. Or we'll end up in the back. Oh, snap. Okay. I tapped him a bit, but I avoided an accident. At least it's not. That house got the cops plenty pissed. Yeah, it was messy, but I got everything done. Everything. Yeah. Everything. Oh, you son of a bitch! Cheers. Alrighty. I was gonna say, thankfully, it's not that hard to lose the police in this game. Don't think so. They must have called out every cop in the city. Right, I gotta keep my eye on the mini map and stay away from their line of sight. I mean, at the same time, I'm trying to follow the Come the on, route. Tommy, lose I'm the, ga the game is uh, presenting to me. Okay. Hopefully we lose him in this tunnel. All cars, pursuit is called off. Abandon search and return to patrol. Okay. We lost him. Thank Christ. I'm glad we have a police scanner in the vehicle. For a long time. You're telling me. Let's get back to the bar. We gotta lie low. The way this all went down, we gotta lie low for weeks. Ah, the priest will keep his trap shut. Don't worry. Morello got a bloody nose. You and Polly are in the clear for whacking Galati's son. Boss will be pleased. I sure hope so. I'll skip the drive so we can get there a bit faster. I don't think he's going to say anything else. I like this feature. GTA should incorporate that. Thanks again, Sam, for helping me out back there. I thought my time was up. It's not anything you wouldn't do for me. I know, but when you come that close to biting it, Christ, it's something. Don't need to tell me about that. Just don't think about it. Best lesson I could ever teach you. Don't think about anything. All right, so uh, we got that. Damn, it actually fast forward six years. <laughs> Jesus Christ, Tommy. You're confessing to a shootout in a church. And I ain't even through the hard stuff yet. You know, I could take you in right now, put your bowling bars, and tell you old and gray. Maybe. If you think you can make any of it stick. But then you'd never know about Morello. Hey, fellas. Sorry to keep you waiting. My shift just started. What you having? Two lunch specials, please. And more coffee. You know what? Let's bring the whole pot. All right, we've come this far together. What kind of heat did you get from the church? It's a strange thing. Nothing really came of it all. Always figured Celieri paid off someone somewhere because it wasn't even in the papers. We just had to lay low for seven, eight months. The cops kept showing up at the bar just to remind us they were watching. And Frank caught wind that Morello was helping Galati get reelected, hoping he'd go after the Don. Well, I recovered some account books from Rella's offices. 33 was a pretty good year for him. Bastard knew we were bleeding out before we did. While we were busy keeping our heads down, he started moving in on our rackets. Quiet at first, a few trucks go missing. Uh, top burner has one too many highballs, drives off a bridge. One of our regular pickups suddenly closes up shop, moves upstate. You need didn't catch on? Not me. I think maybe Polly smelled something. But even with the cops looking over our shoulders and Morello circling, we were still making good money. And with the Dom worried about keeping the heat off, we didn't have much to do. Except drink, have a few laughs. And every time I went into Celieri's, there was Sarah. So it was a good year. Until Frank. A Coletti, a Dom's consigliere. Yeah, that's right. He set me straight. He set us all straight. There's a lot of buzz around town about you guys. 
Yeah, we got into a little scrap last night. It's no big deal. I don't care about the bar fight, Tom. I care how it looks when you walk into a club and by everyone around. Uh, we gotta do something with that, though. Then blow it at the track on Sunday. Or take a dame to a show. Or invest it, for Christ's sake. <laughs> you want me to become one of those Wall Street boys? <laughs> don't sass me, Tommy. I'm trying to teach you the ropes, so you don't get strangled by them. You ever have a dog, Tom? Sure. A little mutt when I was a kid. When I was eight or nine, before I came over from the Sicily, I had this beautiful, skinny Cherneco de Letna. Like a little greyhound. Fastest dog you've ever seen. That's how I met the Don. We started setting up races together, betting on her with coins and rifle shells. There wasn't another dog that could catch her. She never lost. Until the day she did. We were only out of pocket knife, but I never saw the Don so angry. She got old on you? No. Pregnant. She went into heat, got out of the yard, and every dog in town had a turn. You're like that dog, Tommy. Every time you flash your money around, you're a bitch in heat, and everyone in that club is now looking to fuck you. And once you get fucked, you're no good to us. Do you understand? Uh, you made your point. Good. Because you need to think about your career here. Look, Paulie's at his ceiling. He's the guy we want in a tussle, but he's not smart enough to run anything. Sam is loyal, but he has no vision. But you, Tommy... You could run this town someday. I appreciate that, Frank. So, uh, what happened to the dog? The Don tried to drown her. I broke his nose. Good. You can let me off here. I like Frank. Give Sarah my best, Tommy. That was very ominous. A tip to the country. Back then, everything went through Frank. The plans, the orders, the money. You could get the call day or night. Ah, Tommy. Frank says to wait for him in the garage out in the back. Eh? You got the job, I think. Thanks, Luigi. Sarah's cooking. She's bringing something over. In this rain? <laughs> She's a good girl. I'll see you tomorrow, Luigi. All right, guys. So we're gonna. I'm gonna see you next time as well. I'm gonna leave it right here because I've been recording for almost two hours. I did not expect for the episode to be this long, but I didn't want to leave it in the middle of a mission. You know, um, it's good to see a smile back on Sarah's face. All right. I'm sure it is. Well, anyways, guys, before he says anything else, uh, don't forget to like and subscribe if you like what you're seeing. Share it with your friends if they like uh, any of the games I played because I played a shit ton of games. Is it gonna meet you in the garage behind the bar? It'll be here soon. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.